Vanity Kindred, it's Tabby. I'm back with a couple of finished options I wanted to share. So this is my second knitted beauty school sweater by the Poison Girls or Amy Opel. I made one of these back in December of last year. So this is my second one. This is a fingering weight paid for pattern. Um, it is a classic style vintage sweater and I used two different yarns. Um, I used a knit, knit crate Heathered sock, which is this dark purple and black, and then I used a trekking, which I got for like a hand-me-down from a friend or something like that, and I had them in my stash, and then suddenly one day I held them together and thought, I can make a sweater out of both of these, it's enough for a beauty school sweater. So I used the heathered sock for most of the sweater, I wanted to knit until it was just kind of under my bust. And then pick up with the trekking. They're both purples, even though the trekking has some blue in it. Um, the sweater is knit on a size 3 needle, I believe. I used a clover bamboo. Um, I also saved enough of the heather sock to knit my sleeves and then do the trekking for the rib um, and just a little bit before that. So I had just enough of the heather before it ran out and I had some trekking left over when I was all done with the sweater, which enabled me to make some accessories to go with it. So at first I thought I would knit a pair of ankle socks and then I had made a pair of gloves for a fashion show for my model and I decided, you know what, I'd rather have a pair of gloves that you wear that closer to the sweater opposed to like on your feet. Um, and so I just went for it and I'm not a big fan of DPNs but I used the loops and thread metal DPNs for these on a size 3. Um, this is the Dragon Gloves pattern, and it's also a Dragon Gloves and Hat pattern. I didn't like the hat, so I didn't make the hat. Um, and I just had enough left over to knit these gloves. Um, I wasn't sure if I had enough to make, like, the, the pattern is full-length finger gloves. And I wasn't sure if I had enough for that, so I didn't. Um, I just made half finger, and then I had enough left over to make a little mini scheme earrings. And then I still have the yarn left over from that. So I just added on to my sweater because I made this the natural waist length and it was a little too cropped for me so I figured, you know what, I can knit like five rounds with what was left over from the gloves plus the earrings, put it back into the bottom of the sweater and it worked. Um, some things that I noticed between knitting my first um, beauty school sweater and my second was that I had the, talked about the issue of like the shoulder seam I thought was not on. Right, and I thought that wasn't my problem, but when I knit it the second time, um, it was just a part of the pattern, and I talked to another knitter on Instagram, and she said she had the same thing. I did reach out to Amy Pell through Ravelry, I never got a response, so I just went ahead and it was like, okay, the shoulder seam is going to be slightly forward or backwards, it's not going to be right at my shoulder, and that's just the way the pattern is. Where on my first one, I thought it was a me problem, so I blocked it out and stretched the like my sweater, which has been great. Anyway, um, the other thing I noticed was on the sleeves. When I knit my first sweater, I knit the sleeve, and then I just jumped into knitting the rib. Um, I realized that later that it has ten rows before you start the rib, which gives you a little longer sleeve. And I thought I could go back and rip out the sleeves on my first sweater and put that two rounds in. And I'm like, you know what, it's not a bother. It's the only person that knows and notices is me and, and it doesn't bother me that much. So I won't do it. Um, yeah, so I think this one is really cute. I like how it came out. Um, it's a soft -er yarn, the heathered sock. The trekking is a little more um, rough and rustic. Uh, the only thing is it is a little short and shorter than I like it because I have a long torso but that's just again a me thing. Um, I think it's fine. I'm wearing it with a high waisted skirt so it really doesn't matter anyway um, and I think I could wear it under overalls that I got recently. I think that'd be really cute um, or you know with high waisted pants tucked in with suspenders that's a whole cute look too. So yeah um, on the gloves and this pattern uh, the Dragon Glove pattern has a really cool increase for your thumb gusset. It's like an eyelet detail. So on your full length fingers, which I opted to do half fingers, you're supposed to do it on each of your fingers. And I decided I just wanted plain ones. I did do it on the first, my first pointer finger. That's what it is, right? Pointer finger. Um, which came out a little interesting because on your thumb it goes up. 
the side of your thumb and the side of your hand. So on this one, it goes up the side here, and so I think it kind of matches the thumb. But on this one, and I think this is the way the pattern is supposed to really be, and it goes up the front of my finger opposed to the side of my finger, like on the on this one. So they don't quite match, which is fine anyway, because the trekking is like a striping yarn, and all the fingers are a different color anyway. So it doesn't bother me too much. Um, I did finish them off with a cute little silver button. I like the detail that it's open on the back. It gives me that vintage driving glove feel, which goes with the vintage sweater. I think it's a really cute little set. And then you got the cute little mini skein earrings to let people know that you're a yarn junkie. Overall, I think this pattern turned out really well. Again, this is my second uh, beauty school sweater, so I'm not, not a brainer. This was my second pair of gloves like this. Um, I'm not a huge fan of DPNs, and I was a little scared about knitting fingers and like the small circumference of a uh, like finger, but it was fine. I would encourage you if you have, like, uh, you're concerned about starting a certain kind of project like socks or gloves, just go for it. Um, you never know until you try it. So, I hope that encourages you on your knitting journey, and until our next knitting adventure, have fun knitting!